Amin sweetening is an important process in the oil and gas industry. With it, natural gas is stripped of its hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, preparing the gas for sale or further processing. In this video, we're going to have a look at some of the inner workings of amine sweetening. In particular, we are going to have a look at how the absorption and stripping system works. The typical amine sweetening process contains two steps, absorption, where the amines absorb the H2S and CO2 from the sour gas, and stripping, where the H2S and CO2 are stripped from the amines and discharged. Absorption begins with the inlet separator. Here, any solids or liquids are removed from the sour gas using baffles and mist extractors. The gas then makes its way into the contactor column. Here, comes into contact with the amines, and the H2S and CO2 is absorbed from the gas. These columns are often divided by trays. These trays contain bubble caps, which allows the gas to rise through them without the amine solution seeping through. The trays also contain weirs and downcomers that help control the downward flow of the liquid amines. Gas enters the column from the bottom. As it rises, it comes into contact with the liquid amines on the bottom tray. The amine then absorbs the H2S and CO2 from the gas before it rises into the next tray, where even more of these compound chemicals are absorbed. By the time the gas gets to the top of the column and is discharged, most, if not all, of the H2S and CO2 should be removed. At this stage, the sour gas has now turned into sweet gas, and is ready for sale or further processing. Meanwhile, the liquid amine solution enters the column from the top and collects H2S and CO2 as it makes its way downwards. By the time it reaches the bottom, it is already full of these acid gases, and is known as rich amine. Instead of discharging these rich amines, it is pumped to the stripper column, where the acid gases in the amine solution are stripped, and the amines reused. The rich amines enter the stripper column from the top, the liquid falls to the bottom, while the vapor rises to the top, where it passes through a condenser before discharging the acid gases. Any liquid that is caught in the condenser is then pumped back into the stripper column, the rich amine fluid at the bottom of the stripper column makes its way into a reboiler. Here, the liquid is heated up, releasing any acid gases in the solution and converting the rich amines into lean amines. The lean amines are then pumped back into the absorption column, where the cycle of gas sweetening begins once again, while the vapor from the reboiler re-enters the stripper column, rises to the top and through the condenser, and is finally discharged. A system like this is effective and efficient. It can cut costs since the amines never leave the system, it simply circulates around. Another great way to improve gas sweetening systems is by using a good amine pump. A multi-stage ring section centrifugal pump such as the Carver Pump RS is preferable for this operation. The RS is capable of pumping at pressures up to 1500 PSIG. With it, the amount of trays needed within the absorption column can be reduced. The RS is also capable of pumping flows up to 2,000 US gallons per minute, and heads up to 3,400 feet, making it the perfect solution for amine sweetening. And finally, the RS is an extremely well-made and high-quality pump. Proudly manufactured in the USA, all Carver pump pumps are designed to meet the most stringent engineering specifications in the oil and gas industry. For all your centrifugal pump needs, choose only Carver pump. For more information on amine gas sweetening and the RS multi-stage ring section pump, visit www.carverpump.com.